Hey everyone, welcome back to Homegrown Passion. Well, it's the middle of winter, the sun is shining, and it's like 85 degrees here in this greenhouse. I'm not complaining, I'm loving it after the couple weeks we've had with the well being down and not having enough natural gas to keep the furnaces going like I like. So, I'm enjoying the weather, and we are going to work on our deep barrel hydroponics today. So stay tuned. On my last video of the deep barrel hydroponics, when we're getting everything all set up here, and I just put 100% perlite in here, I had so many comments and suggestions about changing this growing medium up so the carrots and all the root crops really produce a nice big harvest for me. So the problem I had with my perlite, just plain perlite in here, it doesn't create enough tension on the plants. So the carrots, instead of making a nice long carrot, are going to have all these roots and everything going out because it's not compressed enough to grow down. So I got to change this up so it does some compression for the plants. So my idea is to take some of this perlite out, put it in my black barrel here, and then I'm going to add the peat moss that I won at the auction a few weeks ago. And that'll add enough tension to the growing medium here so the carrots and the beets don't have a bunch of hair roots going out that they grow a nice fruit down below. So I'm going to put my mask on so I can start scooping this out because of the dust and everything. And I wish I would have brought a pair of shorts back here. I am dying. It's so warm. You know, in the wintertime, you get used to everything being cold and it's 85 in here. It's like, whoa. But I'll get this done. I forgot to turn on my exhaust fan to get all the dust out of here, so I think I better go do that. Boy, what a pain in the butt this is. I wish I would have had all your comments and suggestions before I started this project. But I'm going to go ahead and get all that out. And the next thing I'm going to do now is dump in the peat moss and mix it up and see what kind of consistency I have and see if I need to add any more perlite or peat and go to each bucket and get this done. So I'm going to go ahead and dump this whole bucket in here to start with. And I'm just going to mix it up by hand, but before I do that, I think I'll take off my Fitbit. And let's see what we got. Ooh, this stuff's nice and cold. It feels good. Get these clumps all broke up. So there's one bucket of the peat moss mixed up in there with the perlite. It looks pretty good, but I think I'm going to add a little bit more peat because I do want the, the growing medium up to about here. So let's put half of this bucket in and do a little mix and see where we're at. You know, we had another suggestion from someone to say to keep adding on top of it so the plants keep growing taller up and they go down. So maybe I'll just keep it at this level and see what happens. So I did get a lot of comments from people saying that we should use a cocoa koi in here, but for us in Ohio, it's very, very expensive to get that shipped up here. So that's why I'm using the peat. It's more cost effective for us. probably noticed I didn't get all the perlite from the bottom of the barrel up through here into the mixture. I wanted to leave a nice inch at the bottom so I have really good drainage. So I have my four barrels filled up here with my growing medium. My next step is to saturate them all with water before I plant my seedlings. Here are the 
seedlings I'm going to put into our deep barrels. This here is onions and the carrots, which I heard wouldn't do very well, but they did sprout pretty good. Beets, parsnips, and if you're wondering what's back here, I have some marigolds I'm going to plant in the channels just to add some color to the greenhouse this winter. I'm going to start off planting my carrots here in the first barrel. I did try direct seeding, as someone has suggested, and I did not get good germination. They did pretty well here in my oasis cubes. After I plant them here in the barrel, I'm going to see how much room I have left. And if there is some more, I'm going to do some more in the oasis cubes and do a few more plants in here so I get plenty of carrots. So here's the first couple plants I broke off from the oasis cube, and you can see they have some really nice roots on them. I'm kind of going to go around in a circle and see how many I get in. I have all the carrots planted in the barrel here. I seeded 24 and 17 of them sprouted for me, so that's pretty good. And while I was planting them, I decided I'm going to keep the older ones all to the outside here. I'm gonna seed a few more, and so I'm gonna have different crop rotations in here. So I'll seed some more, and then in a couple weeks, I'll put another ring in here, not quite as many, and then I'll do another ring after that, and so I can keep a good rotation. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish planting the onions, the beets, and the parsnips in the remaining barrels, and then I'm gonna go ahead and get the emitters put in so everybody gets watered. I have all my spaghetti tubes here. I got one more to put together with the admitter. We're trying something a little different here. We tried trying these new stakes. Theoretically, the water's supposed to come down here, hit here, and spray out, but I'm not sure it's gonna work because I do have my 1.5 admitter here. I'm not sure if there's gonna be enough pressure for it to do the spray, but we'll see what happens. So the next step is to use this tool and it pokes the hole into the main feed line. And after I get the hole poked in there, I have this T, this little fitting T here that has the spaghetti tubes on it. Poke that into the feed line, and then I'll be able to place the stakes around where I want them in each one of the barrels. Here goes the last stake into the barrel. Luckily, the sun is starting to set, so these guys aren't in the bright sunshine, so it'll give them time to recoup overnight. So I'll turn on the water here and see how it's going. Let me go make sure the timer's going. I'll be right back. The water's on and the system's getting pressurized, so let's see how it's doing. See the water's coming down. Not spraying out like I had hoped, but it is dripping down very nicely. So I think these stakes are going to work out fine, but in the meantime, since these plants were just put into the barrels and they're a little bit under stress, I'm definitely going to top water them and get a sprinkling can and use my nutrient water for my lettuce until everybody is well established and they're not under stress anymore. And I'll just keep an eye to make sure nobody dries out. I'm done for the day. A few things to go put away and it's getting cool here in the greenhouse. The sun is going down so it feels really good. So I get to change again before I go outside. And I'll keep you guys updated on the progress of the growth of each one of these different plants. And like always, please leave me any questions, comments, and suggestions down below. And we'll see you guys next video.